Hey there, for today's wig show and tell, this wig was sent to me from my first wig. I'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig and also their direct store and social media links. When I opened the box, I noticed I received some goodies. So my wig came in that my first wig storage case. Really good to store your wig in, especially when you're traveling. I got a wig cap that comes with two pieces, a edge brush slash edge comb. Some other goodies in this bag, which is a rat tail comb, clips, hairpins that I can definitely use for my wig, a flyaway tamer, and a edge control. Here is a paper with the wig information on it. It has my order number. The texture is yaki, length 16 inches, hair color same as picture, cap size 1. Cap construction lace front wig Swiss lace and the lace color is medium brown. Here is a close up of what inside of the wig looks like. It comes with a 13 by 6 parting space behind the front so you get two combs and another comb and a nape area with adjustable straps. They already went ahead and inserted a adjustable elastic band on the inside so you could get an extra snug fit. And as for the lace, the lace isn't too ashy on my skin so this is going to be an easy blend. This is what the hairline looks like straight out of the box. It comes lightly pre-plucked and the knots come lightly bleached. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. This wig have dark roots and then it fades into this nice burgundy red color and the hair texture is yaki. By the forehead, I just went in with some tweezers and tweezed the hairline a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. I barely plucked anything. I am mostly plucking that straight line that's on the hairline just so the hairline can look a little bit more natural by the forehead. Now I'm going to go in with my Galaxy Girl hot comb and a temperature that I have it on is 450. I'm going in and I'm pressing down the hairline to see if I would like it plucked more. And like I said, the hairline already comes pre-plucked. I barely plucked anything and I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna go in and pluck anymore. I want to straighten the hair, so I'm going to use my Dyson flat iron. This is the cordless Dyson iron, and the temperature that I have it on is 410. I'm also going to go in with this Awapui Mirror Smooth High Gloss Primer. It's a shine slash thermal protectant. And I take one pump of this, and I rub it all over the hair, and I'm just doing small sections, not too thick, not too thin, just enough for it to get straightened. After I rub the product all over the hair, I go in and comb it, and then I go in with the flat iron. This flat iron is very pricey, but one thing I can say is that it definitely get the hair straight.
now that i'm close to the frontal area my flat iron is dying remember it's a cordless iron and it wasn't fully charged when i was using it so that's my fault now i'm just going to switch over to my babyless prima 3000 and the temperature that i have this on is 410 and when i do the frontal part i split where i want it which is a middle part and i'm going to do one side first after I part a small section, I'm going to go in with that hot comb again and I'm pressing down the roots of the hair. After I get the roots nice and flat, I go in with that Aopui product again and I'm taking a small amount because I'm doing a thinner section than I was when I was doing the tracks part of the wig. And then now I go in with the flat iron and I do this for each row until I reach the top of the crown area by the parting space. Okay, okay, okay. As for the inside of the wig, I already went ahead and applied my makeup, but I applied it like a T. So I applied it to the hairline of the wig and the parting space. Right here is where I hooked my adjustable straps. And as for the elastic band, I hook it on the tightest one. I hope it's not too tight. If it is, then I'll probably just go back in and um, unhook it. Hold on, let me hook the second hook. Okay, make sure my cap is in place. Here I go. space is gonna have to do you guys how gorgeous is this mm -hmm. I love it this texture and color is so so nice. All right, so for the hairline, I was gonna go in and pluck it a lot, but then, um, I don't like when I pluck 
certain frontals especially like yaki wigs then i pluck the frontal a lot and then this part this part right here of the frontal become really thin so i was like i'm just gonna pluck it a little bit not too much and just use the hairline it gave me another thing is i'm not sure what size wig i got in this I'm thinking, did I pick medium? I'm not sure if it's a medium or a small, whatever it is. All the info to this wig will be in the description box. But right now it is coming off really small. My size is showing right here. And then here is the ear tabs. But otherwise, I will most likely wear the wig like this. So I'm gonna give you guys my little preview slash 360 and then come right back to you guys. Now that I'm watching this video over, I should have definitely went in and trimmed the ends a little bit just to make it look a little bit more even and clean. It's not bad if you like that little not perfect end cut look, but I should have went in and did that. It's still a dope wig though. All right, you guys, so right here's my end results on this wig. And again, it's from my first wig. When I was combing it just now, I did get some shedding and this was the amount of shedding I got. To me, that's low. I don't feel like it's too bad. I don't feel like it's too hectic. I don't feel like you gotta return it to the sender. I feel like that shedding is pretty normal. Y'all, I really do love it. I'm not gonna lie. The color is beautiful. Like I said, the roots fade into the color very nicely. As for the texture, it feels very realistic. It feels like perm yaki hair or perm kinky straight hair or blown out kinky straight hair. Like it feels really lovely. I have a nice flow to it. When I move, it moves just like that. Um, the layers in the front, it came really nicely layered. I didn't have to go in and add any layers, but you could go in and add some if you want. As for the length of the wig on me, I would say it's about 16 to 18 inches and my height is a 5'6". The density is on the low to medium side. It's like more towards the low side, but I like it because it's not heavyweight. And I feel like it's really nice for this heat right now that we're receiving in New York. Well, the heat is on and off, but anyway, tangling, I'm not getting any tangles. I love the shine on the wig. The shine is really nice. One thing I love, love, love about Yaki textures is it's not that much flyaways. 
I don't know why, because usually with like silk hair, you know, with silk hair, you have like a lot of flyaways, but with this, everything just lays accordingly. Like it gets in a line. Love it. Love it a lot. The only con that I have with this wig is the side because it's kind of behind my hairline a little bit. This is my first time going through that with my first wigs. Usually like it lays properly on my hairline. So I'm not sure what size wig this is, but either way I'm keeping it. Cause this is nice. This is really nice. The comb goes right through, right on through. Mm, love it. I do believe this wig is beginner friendly. You really don't have to do much work. It take a little bit of effort. When you get the wig, I do feel like you have to go in and straighten the wig, but that's that's nothing big. The hairline comes nicely pre-plucked. I went and plucked it just a little bit, but you really don't have to do that, especially if you're gonna wear the wig down in a metal part. The parting space comes really nicely pre-plucked. The lace blends in really nicely with my skin. I don't have any glue or gel on it. It's just sitting on my skin. And I love when a wig do that. So when I get home, I can just take it off. That's it. That's it. The only con is the hairline and the size of the wig. But otherwise, everything is great. And I honestly recommend. So before you go, please like, comment, and subscribe if you are new to my channel. And if you are not, then welcome back to my channel. I should have said that in the beginning, but it slipped my mind. Um, please share this video. It would help. I'm on my road to 100K. And you never know who this video might help. Oh my God, this wig looks so good. But <laughs> if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later you guys, have a good day.